Okay. Tibby smile. <laughs> oh, is he frozen? Or does he just not smile? Uh, says poor network quality. Well, right now you're good. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do that. Hey, welcome everyone to a new video in our Azure Stack Hub Partner Solution video series. I'm again joined by Tiberi Radu from the Azure Stack Hub team, uh, which always introduced me to new partner and new partner solutions. Uh, how, how is it going, Tibi, and who am I going to speak to today? Hello, Thomas. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to meet with uh, Telecom Tel Telstra. Uh, they are a uh, service provider um, in a very specific region, and they have a service covering, uh, they're offering managed services to their customers. So as before in this series, we are covering uh, service providers going from, well, we're, we're covering solutions with Azure Stack Hub, starting with a managed service provider, um, ISVs, uh, partners, and all kinds of combinations in between. And I think uh, John will have a, a good story to to to, to uh, walk you through the, their journey. Okay, no, that sounds awesome. I'm really really looking forward uh, to that. So let's switch over to John. Thank you very much, Tibby. My okay. name is John Gajano, and uh, I'm from uh, Telkom Telstra, Indonesia. I am their Azure Stack uh, Architecture Manager. Uh, Telcom Telstra is a joint venture between two large uh, telecommunication services companies, uh, Telcom Indonesia and Telstra Australia. Uh, we are based in uh, Jakarta, Indonesia, and we provide um, a range of uh, technologies and many services to uh, enterprise and government customers uh, in Indonesia. Uh, examples of services we provide, we provide managed network services, uh, managed security services, um, we are a leading um, hybrid cloud service provider in Indonesia, uh, as well as we have a very successful cloud uh, contact uh, center solution. Um, we also provide un unified communications using Microsoft Teams and the full suite of uh, office productivity tools provided by Microsoft 365. Okay, that is awesome. Now, thank you very much again for having you on this call. Um, thank you. I I just want to quickly ask you, and you mentioned you are a managed service provider, right? And you offer obviously different services to clients. Uh, can you speak a little bit more about uh, what your clients are, who your clients are, um, and like how that works uh, and, and what are your customers? Ah, absolutely, thank you, Thomas. Um, our customers are uh, typically Indonesian enterprises or multinational companies uh, that establish a presence in Indonesia. Uh, they are their activity is usually in, in key industry verticals, such as financial services, um, production and uh, manufacturing, uh, energy, oil and gas, as well as uh, government and public services. Okay, that sounds like a good amount of customers and a good solution for these customers. Um, so obviously you're using Azure Stack Hub, um, I want to quickly ask you, why did you choose the Azure Stack Hub solutions and why, for example, also do your customers choose Azure Stack Hub uh, or that specific Azure Stack Hub solution and, and services you're offering? Sure, sure. So several years ago, uh, our customers at the time, managed network services customers, started to talk to us about uh, their cloud um, migration journey as part of their digitization strategy. Um, our, many of our customers have very specific data sovereignty requirements and very uh, tight security requirements. Uh, at that time, uh, Azure Stack Hub was still, still called Azure Stack, technical preview two and three. Um, we were very impressed by the potential that the technology showed from the early stages. Um, the fact that you know, Azure Stack Hub is an extension of Azure. It provides full, it provides a, a range of Azure services uh, in our data centers, uh, which we can then on sell to our customers. And um, we saw the potential in the market for for building a um, um, Azure, Azure Stack based uh, hybrid cloud portfolio of services. 
Uh, we joined the Microsoft Early Adopters Program for Azure Stack, and we have since been working in partnership with Microsoft to build a successful uh, hybrid cloud uh, business in Indonesia. Um, what we found over, uh, from the beginning, what we found is that um, integrating uh, Azure Stack Hub into our ITIL compliant um, processes and tools was very straightforward with the use of uh, uh, the, the rich set of APIs that Azure Stack provides, which are fully consistent with uh, the APIs that uh, Azure provides. Uh, our customers, on the other hand, were very impressed by the consistency uh, between Azure Stack and Azure in terms of you know, using the same portal, um, the same uh, Azure Resource Manager, templates, uh, the APIs, um, uh, similar Kubernetes container technology used on both platforms, the fact that the DevOps, DevOps tools uh, used across, uh, can be used across Azure the Public Cloud and Azure Stack Hub. Uh, additionally, the customers uh, who have a very, uh, who have uh, data sovereignty requirements uh, are well served by our Azure Stack uh, Hub platforms, which are located in Indonesia. No, that sounds awesome. I, I love, by the way, that you're like a long-term partner of us and you were very early on involved in Azure Stack Hub and, and in the development of Azure Stack Hub, of course. Um, so in your cases, it's really like bringing that consistent experience like um, closer to your customers in terms of like obviously networking, like latency and, and things like that, but also Absolutely. data sovereignty reasons, right? Absolutely. Perfect. No, so this is great. So you're providing this platform. Um, so again, you have a different, you have a whole set of different customers using that. Um, can you talk a little bit about more how um, the customers, for example, are using the platform um, in a way, and what, like, how how that actually provides value and what they're building on top of it? Yeah, sure. So um, to start with, we provide. Uh, the hosting services for our customers on our Azure Stack platforms, which are located in uh, different data centers in Indonesia, uh, which then again provides you know the low latency and um, uh, data sovereignty compliance. Uh, we provide a full set of professional services to help our customers identify opportunities for um, migrating to the cloud, for um, redeveloping their applications. Uh, for innovation and uh, scaling up their applications. Um, in that respect, we uh, provide cloud migration assessment. We provide strategy development for cloud migration, as well as detailed planning. And also we uh, execute or work with the customer to execute uh, the migration of applications from on-premises to uh, Azure Stack uh, Hub, as well as Azure in a controlled and secure manner. Uh, we also do backups for our customers. We ensure that the business uh, is always available by replicating data uh, between our Azure Stack platforms in different data centers, as well as uh, we use the Azure Site Recovery Service to uh, backup data onto Azure, the public cloud. Uh, we ensure that the security of, uh, of our customer's business is um, solid uh, with a combination of security technologies, uh, intelligence, security intelligence, data analytics, and expert teams, uh, which then enable uh, enterprises uh, to run their business successfully and with confidence. Additionally, we provide uh, support for uh, the network component of hybrid cloud uh, applications, all the way from the public Azure to uh, Azure Stack Hub, as well as to the customer premises or customer data centers, uh, all the way to uh, you know the, their remote premises where we can also support their uh, customer premises equipment. Um, we overlay everything with an integrated service management framework, which is fully ITIL compliant, which includes 24 by 7 uh, monitoring, uh, support, uh, customer notifications, um, which is underpinned then by uh, industry leading uh, service level commitments, which we uh, meet and exceed on a consistent basis. 
Additionally, we provide customers with access to our Infinity portal, which then provides them end-to-end uh, -end visibility of their, the performance of their services across all the technologies. Okay, now that's pretty cool. So you're not just providing the Azure Stack and the, the Azure platform basically uh, to your customers, but you're also adding on like value on top of this. Um, again, you mentioned, for example, the networking connectivity, but then also um, help with the cloud journey when it comes to migration, uh, the cloud setup on like for applications and stuff like that. So really helping them uh, on the way on their own cloud journey as well, right? Absolutely. And um, we've built a lot of customer loyalty through this and Azure Stack Hub as a key component of our um, hybrid cloud uh, product portfolio has been um, a, a key uh, underpinning for our success. Oh, that's awesome. That's great to hear. Um, so my, my really last, almost last question um, is, so obviously you, you see how your customers are using the platform, um, like what, what they are building and what, what do you see them using, like kind of like the most, what services are they using on top of Azure Stack Hub? Yeah, sure. So uh, requirements vary quite a lot between customers and also for any one customer uh, throughout the, the life cycle of their application and of their engagement with us. So for example, a customer who may be in an early phase of their uh, cloud uh, migration journey, may start with uh, using infrastructure as a service uh, features of Azure Stack uh, Hub. Uh, you know, virtual machines, virtual networks, VPNs, uh, uh, storage, uh, the key vault, for example, is a starting point. Then over time, as the, the cloud journey continues and the customer becomes more confident and they start redeveloping maybe uh, their on-premises applications with a view to migrating them to cloud and build or acquire new cloud-ready applications, then the customer uh, starts making use of um, platform as a service uh, features um, such as computerless, um, serverless computing, um, web apps, uh, Kubernetes containers, um, yeah, okay. we also make ourselves, we also make uh, extensive use uh, of ARM templates and APIs to support our customers uh, with automations. So we enable, you know, automated resource de uh, deployments. We also uh, automati automatically discover resource configurations and populate the configuration management database which then underpins all of our ITIL compliant uh, service management processes. And also we, uh, we use APIs for alert detections and automated ticketing and customer notifications. All right, that, that's pretty cool because that is another point where I can see, I mean, uh, you are adding value to to for the customers, right? It's not just, I mean, obviously they come to you for latency networking reasons and data sovereignty, but the, you also help them with their modernization efforts, right? So that you help yes. them modernizing their application from like running first in traditional virtual machines, but still taking advantage of the infrastructure service platform built into Azure and Azure Stack Hub. And then, as you mentioned so nicely, like all the, the past services and containerized solutions, which then you can really start modernizing and taking advantage of that cloud experience. Doesn't matter if it's running in Azure itself or on your Azure Stack Hub solution. So that Absolutely. is a pretty great solution. As well as you also mentioned the consistency again, right? Um, like building the ARM templates and building all that automation so they can use that. Now, I, I really love what you're, what you're doing there for your, for your customers. So I, I know in effect that there is a lot of uh, requests, uh, especially also in Indonesia, um, for Azure services, right? So if people now uh, watch that video and they want to know more about you and learn more, uh, where should they go? Absolutely. Just go to our website, calcomtelstra.co.id, and you will find our contact details there and please come and talk to us. Okay, so thank you very much, John. Thank you very much, Tibby. People who are watching, you saw, like you get the links in the description. So if you want to find out more, uh, you find the links there and please reach out and talk to them uh, if they're happy to talk to you. 
And so I want to say thank you also for watching and hopefully see you in the next one. Okay, thank you.